You're, you're the first guest. I am the first guest, and I dress for the occasion. What? So, can you tell me a little bit? Well, so I, I mean, I've spent my whole life watching late night television. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I've been a fan, mm -hmm. um, and I always very meticulously judge what people wear. Of course. On late night shows, I of could course. tell if you know someone decided to wear it for them. A lot of times, you can put forth you know an aura about yourself, and so I wanted to wear something that I knew no one could make fun of. Uh, it doesn't say very much about me, so everything that everything that's going to happen is going to come from my face, yeah. which is yeah, which is yeah, makes sense. Yeah, which is accurate. Well, before we get, do you guys? I brought you a gift. Oh, if that's yeah. Well, yeah. You, didn't, because, you didn't have no, to do that. I know. That. I know. I didn't. Uh, Eric, it was a decision that I made. Because oh. I'm a kind person. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's a late night show, and, and wow. mugs are very synonymous. But this mug actually it comes with a joke because it's a, it's a late uh, night show. Your your joke. Yeah, well, it's the cups joke. It's the mugs joke. So oh, okay. let's pretend I'm the host, okay. and and you're a guest, and, and oh, you, oh, you run out of things to say. Yeah. Right. You 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 could you, something along the lines of like, oh, tiny cup or giant hand. <laughs> <laughs> tiny cup or giant. Di because it's a it's a it's a slightly smaller. Oh, I see that it's a smaller mug. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, but so, that's therein lies the humor of the, because it's like oh like. So whenever I run out of jokes, I can grab that. Out, uh, yeah. So that's uh. That's that's for you. Mesa well, Verde. Well, that's my grandmother. Well, thank you, Eric Dolan. No that was very that was very polite. Use it too. Uh, he doesn't let me touch things. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm not allowed to touch things here. So, so you guys need to talk. I mean, you're the first guest. I'm the first guest. Yeah. So uh, congratulations. Uh, yeah. How do you think? Would you like our set? I yeah. Oh, <laughs> just yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what am I going to do? What are we, well, what, I mean, I, ho I was hoping you would like... Make out with it? Come on. Well, I guess not. Yeah, it's, it is a very nice set, and it's nice to have live late night TV happening. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, it was weird when you guys asked me, because it, it seems as though you told other people before you told me. Just we, the press. We didn't. We didn't say the the, the press are people too, yeah. because they what? that people knew. Uh, there's telling me we have a clip from that day. Yeah, no, someone was filming it. Which oh. yeah, it, so it oh. seems as though you told people because oh. why would you film? Well, we that? well we didn't. Uh, let's let's see this video. Let's let's watch this. So thank you for coming out, Eric Dolan. Yeah. Uh, no we are very pleased to inform you that you will be the first ever guest on Late Night with James yeah. Nuzzo and Eric Dargis. Is it just like a sh it's, just, it's, it's like, it's like yeah. a TV show. It's, yeah. it's like a TV, TV show. show. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you'll oh. be the first. You'll be the first. Oh, cool. Guest. Yeah, yeah. That's All right. Oh, yeah. So great. Is that um, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. That's Guess. Eric, got a second? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sit down. Okay. Stand up. You're fired. Get out. What? Why? Because you're the first guest on late night. Go. Be gone. <laughs> so we didn't. We had no idea. Yeah. We had no idea. No, yeah, no. You. Things kind of got out of hand there. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you came back. I'm glad that AJ still speaks to me. Yeah. Well, yeah after the yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. He screamed was, very loudly in his yeah. face. I'm still recovering, but that, you know, you're much faster than I thought. That I've gotten that a lot, and I I can only assume this will make me faster. Is I'm yeah. very aerobic in this. Aerobic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not, not aerobic. Aerobic. You're aerobic. Aerobic. Oh, okay. All right. So you're a broadcast journalism major. Yeah, yeah. And what what is your you're trying to be? Uh, a, you want a degree in media studies? Oh yeah, yeah. Because I've learned enough about media to know that it's disgusting and awful, and oh. I don't want to be a part of it. I'd much rather critique it and uh -huh. ideally have someone pay me to do it or dress like this. I wouldn't mind dressing like this. You get paid to dress me. like that. That'd be very uh, nice. Well, now that I've said it, the circumstances that would require me getting paid to dress like this seem a bit well odd. So maybe I, I don't Cirque just want to get paid to wear this. You can join Cirque du Soleil. I was thinking more of like a, a man boy thing, but <laughs> what? 
Either or. Either <laughs> or. So what's it like being the music director upstairs? Uh, it's it's very interesting. We get a lot of um, very very anyone can get my address here. So mm -hmm. we get stuff from big bands and and producers, not big bands, not like grandfather music, like bands, like big bands, like people, brass, like yeah, a huge no, band. very very limited brass, gotcha. except for Pat's and Knuckles. Uh, <laughs> but we also get we get a lot of stuff from people who have basements and Bandcamp accounts, and that could be brilliant because you may be on the forefront of this huge musical realization, exactly. but it, it could also be. Um, how do I put this? Uh, dads. Oh, dad sends you music? Dads send me music directly to me, addressed to me. Like, like dad music? Like It's not even dad because there, there is dad rock, which is rock that's made for dads. This yeah. is dads making rock. And ironically enough, dads making rock is worse than dad rock because the people <laughs> making dad rock are generally a, a bit younger. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. And do you ever play any of the dad music on the, on the radio? Not on the radio, but I mean, I I to, to kind of keep my ears pure. Um, for the dad music. I don't listen to anything uh, except the dad music until I'm on the air, because then uh, I can, much like the listener, appreciate the good music. Actual that's music. Being played. So yeah, so I uh, only on my own time. Showers, generally. You, you listen to dad music when you shower. I listen to dads in the shower. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and you have two shows. Yeah. The Monday, Monday morning, morning blend, blend which then, is nationally acclaimed. Yeah, I don't know who acclaimed it. But I like the, the way that's... Yeah. The nation. The, the whole, whole nation. Oh, well, well, gosh darn it then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you have, what's the Brave New Radio? Yeah, Brave New Radio Presents, which is just music. No dads. <laughs> well, sometimes my dad listens, but uh, no, dad he's music. in prison, so it, it's uh. nice. He Does can't he, call, like, I don't, I don't know, what he, but he says he listens. And, Does your dad do music? Does your, is, is uh, your dad one of the artists? I'm, yeah. No, I mean, they, no. <laughs> the, the, the chains. I don't know if they still have chains in prison, but I guess with the metal tin can, <laughs> the song of his people, I suppose. I don't know. People, people songs. Your dad uh, used uh, his one call to make a request for Dad Rock, though. Right? Yeah, yes, he did. Yes, <laughs> his he did. one call. <laughs> and you have a podcast. Yeah, it's, it's called, called Orange Juice and Ice Cream. And I would love to hear how well, that happened. Okay, two reasons. So the first was so basically the premise of it is we ask 50 strangers on campus a question every week, cut it together for like this weird experimental sort of like you're just hearing these voices. Uh, and so when we were recording it, the first thing we asked was, if you could have anything in the world right now, what would it be? And we asked our sweet mate, Ryan Red Sheep Walsh, and he said he wanted a piece of provolone cheese. And then we didn't turn off the recorder because we, it, it seemed as though something very good was about yeah, to happen. Yes, I, and he continued talking so. about foods. And he, he's mulling, this is all recorded, he's like, orange juice and ice cream? Why doesn't anyone ever think of that? So we made an orange juice and ice cream. But the more, you know, the more meaningful reason for me is that's called an orange Julius. I don't know if you're uh, aware. I was orange in, juice I and ice no cream were called an orange Julius. And Julius was actually the name that my parents had chosen for the twin I ate in the womb. <laughs> so it's sort you of- You had me right until <laughs> that point. It's sort of an homage to uh, Julius and then also because of red sheep, so. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, oh, disgusting, yeah. So when, like, where can, where can you find the, the podcast? Uh, SoundCloud. And I, I don't know of anyone else making orange juice and ice cream on mm -hmm. SoundCloud. So I would just go to SoundCloud. Everyone watching now is just ripping out their phones and flipping on their laptops for this. But yeah, just orange juice and ice cream. Orange juice and ice cream. Orange, and, juice. Uh, orange juice, ice you, cream. You are very well known for your radio voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering, could you do a intro, uh, like say our name with your voice as if it was the radio? Uh, I don't like. Pe would you mind if I went behind the chair? I just don't like people seeing my face. What do you do, radio? I do a weird face. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, okay, okay, thanks. thanks. <laughs> so what am I? What am I saying again? You're saying that it's on there Late if you don't know the name of our show Nuzo that you're on. Late night with James Newzo and Eric Dargis. Late night with James Newzo and Eric Dargis. So it's like a. It's more of like a. It's like if the movie theater voice guy didn't quite hit puberty. Oh, yeah. Kind of okay. yeah. It sounded exactly. Well, thank you. Oh no, absolutely. Well, thank you, uh, Eric Dolan, everybody. Thank you.